Welcome to the show this week. Uh, for those of you parents, mummies and daddies, you might perhaps be wondering, how is it that you can give your child the very best, give them the best education, give them the best welfare care at home, give them the very best opportunities for them to become successful for their future. But somewhere, somehow, some reason, uh, they are not making the full use of it. And it's not that they don't want to be successful, it's not that they don't want to be great and they don't want to make you proud. It's sometimes they are lost or they are stuck. And uh, right here with me right now, we have the very famous, very enthusiastic, and very loving and caring person named Coach Jason from Pro Mission. Now, pro thank you, Coach Jason, for being with us on the video okay. today. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much, everyone. I am Coach Jason, and thank you very much for Mr. Webster to have me in this show, okay? So, yes, uh, why are we here? <laughs> well, okay. for this week, we are actually very excited because I get to finally get to do a video interview with you. Okay. Now, for some parents, they don't realize what is it that you do, and you're kind of like the secret things that goes behind closed doors <laughs> that may not be famous, but it's so important. It's like the backbone to the human body. Uh, what Coach Jason does, he helps families, children, and parents work together as a family. You see, so many parents, right, they work so hard. They, they put in so much effort to earn the money so they can be able to give their family the very best. And sometimes kids, they also work very hard to try to give the parents what they want by, by studying very hard, by, by trying to be obedient. But somehow, somewhere, right, even though they work super hard, they don't get to connect with each other. And you've been working with so many families to help yeah. them create True. that bond. And more importantly, lay the foundation that when they grow up together, they grow up happy and they can actually achieve goals together. Mm -hmm. Rather than sacrificing each other, they actually are happy and successful. Yeah, that is pretty much important. Mm -hmm. So, uh, hi everyone, once again, I'm Coach Jason, I'm from ProMission. And what is ProMission doing actually? We are doing for 10 to 17 years old, teenagers and kids in this age range. Every single week, I have met a lot of parents and also teenagers, of course, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So, if let's say your kids are 10, 11, 12 years old, okay, slightly late to join but then it is still okay because they are still willing to come and meet me and join the class but if let's say your kids they are already 15 16 or even 17 i even have parents age uh the kids like 20 they come to meet me and it's really really hard and it's so it is so hurt to see that because why yes the thing is here uh why are they here the first thing they're lacking of confidence mm. so what we see here nowadays in the teenagers and even the younger generation mm. the lacking of the communication skill the mm. confidence that's where the parents brought them here okay so when we are 10 11 12 still okay when you meet me hi everyone then go to the class and then okay we can start the journey <laughs> but if let's say 15 16 17 is really really hard and then that's how they have this emotion journey mm. the rebellious moment and then it's really hard to start here so every single time when they face the parents they are not coming in here uh, if let's say you are 10 11 12 years old parent oh curious what is this all about let me tell you why or if let's say your parents are 15 16 17 or even 18 or 20 you come here with the mindset of you are worried you are nervous you are really don't know what to do with what's going on next like they're going to face the SPM soon IGCSE go to university soon and then with this kind of the criteria state how can they survive in the future and that's where we help mm, mm, mm. and you know what I got to see this firsthand not just from the outside but from the inside as well okay. I noticed that because when it comes to education when helping children uh, the number one priority has always been their education, <laughs> True. academic. And True. That's the thing that motivates parents to take action, to do something about it, something for their kids. And, and funny enough, right, even though parents have given their kids the very best, sending them to private school, send them to the best exactly. uh, centers and tuition centers, but for some reason, right, it doesn't improve the situation. Sometimes it makes it worse. And, some, and, and the thing is, right, there is a root problem that they're not addressing. And I notice in ProMission, one of the things that you guys notice is you notice there's a root problem and you find a way to fix that or more importantly, you nurture the improvement. And could you share with us, what is the one thing that you feel is the most common issue that parents might be facing? Like, they, they notice it but they don't know how to pinpoint, they don't have a word to put to it. Like for example, on, on our side in the whole charge learning, um, a lot of parents is like their child is lazy, not being able, not disciplined, don't want to take work. But those are just the stimulation. The real problem is right, the child don't know how to study. That's why even though they put in effort, right, they get no results. Right? So 
what from your experience because you've been working in this field for so many years you literally coach jason has uh, put away his professional uh, background his very successful career to be in the education field because too many successful people are focusing on being selfishly improving themselves but coach jason focuses on taking his expertise to help the future generation and, and i'm really grateful the fact that you're doing what you're doing Thank you. That's why I'd like to take this opportunity in this video to share with mummies and daddies, right? The real problem that they are facing, right? That you help them solve. What is the real problem that parents have, right? That have to come look for you. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, eventually, when they come here, there are three things here. First thing, they are lacking of confidence. Oh, my son, they can't mm. even order KFC or McDonald's or mm. they cannot take up challenges okay, to be on stage they are so afraid to talk in the public so lacking of the confidence here that's the very first one the second one they are lacking of initiative mm. so they are so lazy no, not initiative mm. and then they have no motivation how can I move them further forward to do something how mm. and third one is the most common one which my son or my daughter they are so engaged with phones ah. okay yes <laughs> that's the teenagers thing so how can I get them to do something so every single thing it links back to one connection which is the environment to push them so mm. what we can do here is provide the environment first thing self-confidence is really important but then here what we do is uh, we are not so much focusing on yes come here to be a speaker come here to be a public speaker come here to actually have your confidence built it is not the main objective mm. but first thing confidence first thing here but second step is very much important which is self-esteem mm. because once you have the self-confidence yes i'm very confident now i can speak on stage but what's next is pretty much important which is self-esteem mm. because i may be confident on stage but i may not be able to take up challenges and face failures that's a very good point coach jason because yeah. a lot of people get confused with what is self-confidence and self-esteem yeah uh, a mental one shared with me confidence is the ability to be daring enough to do something True. because they're comfortable doing it already okay and then self-esteem is a totally different thing self-esteem is actually a feeling a feeling of being loved and feeling that they are capable Correct. to the point that even there's no one looking at them mm -hmm. they are very comfortable taking action to do yes. what they're scared of yes. doing. Mm -hmm. mm. That is most of the teenager face that have low self-esteem that they mm. can't even face all this. And the last stage here, self-confidence, self-esteem, the last stage is of self-worth. Mm. That is our main goal, the objective to have self-worth here. A lot mm. of people they may think that okay, I'm just useless, I may not be worth yeah, the love or with someone to actually love me or yeah. to be in this world, this society, yeah. I can just end this uh, at the moment. So this is not what we want. We want to have to build this self-worth here. We want mm -hmm. to, you to find your life mission, your life purpose to actually further contribute to society. That is very much important that you have your confidence, esteem and then self-worth. From there, you can go on with your life with full happiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is what we have to do here. You know what's the amazing thing? Um, so many people know that this is an important skill set when they grow up. Yes, exactly. But the process, the journey to help them get this set of skills, to help them this build this realization, is not there. And I believe that's the reason why you're involved and Dr. Ine is involved. They started all this. You're actually going against the current. Yeah. Because in education, people only think about the academic. They don't think about Correct. the back end part. That's the pain. Yeah. That's the pain. And, and I'm so grateful that you guys do because it's been for so many years. You guys level up your students in such a unique way that. Let me explain. Just now, Coach Jason talked about people having lack of confidence, self esteem, and the environment for them to actually challenge themselves. Now, what ProMission does is they give them the environment. The coaching. Now, coaching is very different than teaching. Teaching is like giving you information. Students, they have information. Kids, children, young teenagers, they have the knowledge of what is right and what's wrong. The, the difficulty is how do they make the decision to follow through what is right and to stop what is wrong. And that takes a lot of um, self-esteem. Okay? It takes a lot of uh, uh, ethics, something of how they value themselves. And that's something that ProMission does. You give them an environment to step out of their comfort zone, you give them an environment for them to realize and more importantly to think. Something that I really appreciate, the patience of each coach in every session you run is trained to challenge the child to think. One of the hardest things to do to help anyone become successful is to challenge them to think. If they can think, they are set for life. There is no obstacle or challenge that will stop a child from becoming a successful person if they can think. But the thing is, right, the process may not be the same for everyone. Correct. Some individuals fast, some people slow. And I notice, unlike normal classes, every stage and growth development is not based on their age, 
Correct. It's not based on how much they know, it's not based on how mature they are, it's based on how they perform. Am I right? Yes, yes. Mm, could you tell us right. a little bit okay. about So here, 10 to 20 years old, it's just the age gap here. Mm. They can come here to join, but then we mm. don't actually see you based on your age. Like you're 10 years old, you should belong to this group, and you're 17 years old, you should belong to this group. No, because this is the thing that uh, we believe that every single one has different capability. Mm. Someone who is not good in academic, but then he may be very good at something. Okay, so we can put him into a higher level stage, senior stage. But if there is someone is really good in academy, but then they are really lacking of the expressive here, and then they are lack of confidence, and it's really hard for me to put them into senior level. That's why we have to start from foundation. So every single level here provides different skill sets and value sets for different age group. So we have a group of a uh, mixture. Okay, in a class. Okay, just imagine we have one class that the age gap is between a ten years old and a seventeen years old. They are the same age group, but then a uh, different age group, but then they are in the same class. Mm. They learn the same thing because they are. The different skill sets here that mm. capability is very much important so we don't see based on age group yeah correct yeah, that is what we really want to to do this is not the conventional okay so 10 11 12 this group no that's not what we're doing here correct mm. and i noticed that um in ProVision is a big focus on where you interview the child not on just their age like you mentioned but more of their ability correct because it's not just a combination of just their self-esteem it's also a combination of their skill sets correct i believe one of the magical things that you guys leverage on is to help you give the child the right tools. When you give them the right tools and skill, you challenge them to use that tool and skill. And when they are challenged to use that tool and skills, they start to feel and realize a difference with their themselves. Correct. And because of that realization, they push themselves, they give themselves permission to push themselves to go to the new level. That's one, one of the things that made me fall in love in what ProVision <laughs> does, is many, many years ago, I was given a chance to watch a concert. Now, I'm not a concert going person, <laughs> uh, but for some reason, this particular concert caught my eye and I bought tickets and I went for the, uh, the concert. And the concert was an amazing performance of young people um, bringing together, telling amazing story about uh, in individuals going through hardship and overcoming obstacles and it touched my heart. And what was amazing is at the end, they shared about this journey of running the concert. Not just the story, but the running of the concert. The concert was planned organized, executed, and completed all by the students in ProMission. Not by the staff, not by adults, but by young people aged 10 to 17 years old, where they volunteer their time to take on the responsibility of not just running and doing the performance, they market yes, the tickets, yes, yes, they yes. plan to find sponsorship, they do what adults do, which is some adults are scared to do, <laughs> but you are able to give the child permission to become a grown-up where even grown-ups are scared to do and that was the part that opened up my eyes why is it that so many adults are scared to do what adults are supposed to do but these young people can and it's because it's all about nurturing in the right environment and that's one of the reasons why i noticed you guys are so amazing because you don't just want something to help the child you help the family yeah and you guys do a lot of work with parents you do a lot of like coaching with parents as well could you share a little bit about maybe a story that you have uh, about how maybe at the beginning when the parents came they were not really excited about being involved because a lot of times parents think hey here's my child <laughs> yes. fix them fix them <laughs> fix already and send back to me but can you share a story about the, I, i've heard a lot okay. of stories okay. where the parents came with that mindset but then at the end the parents realized that what they do is very important and because they realized that and they took action their family automatically changed for the better yes mm -hmm. exactly so our family matters here okay the whole thing here this is just a weekly class every single we students come to here for a one uh, one hour session mm -hmm. and then in that one hour session parents may ask how is this one hour help my kids okay and my family's how okay so once a week one hour how so just now the whole period the whole journey here okay just for your information it takes a long journey mm -hmm. this is not a weekly class for three months or six months or one year okay this is a weekly class for five to eight years mm -hmm. five to eight years journey here is totally the journey from a very young boy to a teenager to a successful youth to go out to society that is what, what we want to hold journey here to enrich their experiences so that's how but then the whole connection between us 
parents and the kids must be very strong mm. because this is a five to eight years bonding, five to eight years connection. This is not just here. Yes, we provide the environment. Mm. In this one hour, they are so good. So uh, they're so good in, until the extent that yes, I am really good. Let's go out and do something. But once they reach home, because of the environment provided, it is not as positive in here. So it really have the conflict. Mm. So that's where that we have the conflict, disagreement from them. The kids will feel confused. Why? Why I can't do this? Why I can do that? So so it's really important for the parents, for the coaches, for the kids, three angles, three perspectives to work together in this five to eight years emotion journey. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so in this emotional journey, it is not just about achievement. Okay, of mm -hmm. course, yes, there's achievement. My kids improve. My kids are from this tiny boy to become a very confident speaker. Yes, they do improve. But along the way, in this five to eight years, it's, it's also full of challenges and stress okay mm. so as they go to higher level there are challenges there are stress there are also downturn so in this downturn this downside is whereby parents really need to determine because the very inspiring story is all from here okay mm. so from the downturn here when they face how to face all these challenges in life and bounce back higher and that's where they can inspire the world and that's where they can use the story and also to tell themselves to make a difference mm. to, to to help those that who is in the same same uh same boat at them okay mm. so that is how we want to help them in this five to eight years journey you know yeah. that, that is so powerful because <laughs> what i've gotten from that is this keyword motivation Motivation, one, there's one, one a mentor that shared with me. Motivation is like brushing your teeth. Uh, yes. You don't brush your teeth one time and then forever you'll be fixed, right? It's something you have to do consistently. And even more, you need to brush your teeth when you're going through difficult times, which is eating junk food and all that. <laughs> so in life, there's always ups and downs. Yes. That is life. That's a guaranteed thing. And you guys run a program that is not short term but long term because you know that's the reality. Correct. And there is no one tablet that fixes everything. And you're giving the opportunity to have an environment for both parents and the students Correct. to be able to be having the good times and to prepare for the bad times so that they can continuously maintain that motivation. Motivation, like brushing your teeth, you have to do it consistently and you have to do it correctly. <laughs> because the more you do it, the more you are able to have the ability to withstand the things that will sabotage the families. And, and that's an amazing thing. Now, if for example, um, what what are the common points and symptoms that a parents can see that they know that you know what among all the things I need to bring my child to provision because not every problem is solved with one solution. It's like if you have a heart attack, you don't go to the eye doctor. Okay. Right? So I'm a big believer of that. So maybe you could share maybe three or four symptoms that people can notice, mummies and daddies can notice that, okay, these are the issues. What is it that I can do to help them? And if I cannot help them, who can I see to get this solved? So maybe they share some of the symptoms that you notice that has been very common and what people can do straight away to maybe improve that situation. Okay, uh, three to four symptoms. What I say is to very much on, okay, this is a center uh, to help the kids and teenagers to further improve, yep. to continuously improve themselves. Mm -hmm. But it is also a platform to shine who is already a diamond. Mm -hmm. So uh, to those that, okay, the first one, if let's say your kids are really, 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 really good, okay? So some parents, they think that, okay, yes, my kids are good, so they don't need uh, such a thing, okay? But then that's how when your kids are good, and then how do we share humbly to people around us? Oh, what do you by good, but oh, good. good. I said, oh, I, uh, he's a very good speaker, or he's very good in academic, ah. or he is already very confident. He doesn't so, need the normal eye, they are, they are like perfect, yes, yes, they yes, can yes. speak out, they got confidence, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. but then that can be also a dangerous thing. Correct, okay. Ah, okay. So, if let's say kids or generation like this, yes, they should join to just now, five to eight years, they may take short time to complete the whole journey. But then at the same time, they can definitely be a very influential people in the society next time, mm. okay, when they grow up, okay, so first one. Second one, when some parents, okay, things that, I know that my kids, they are really a uh, so-called introvert. They are, re they are really, uh, they can't really express themselves. Mm -hmm. And then they want to express themselves, they don't know how, the approaches. So that's mm -hmm. when parents really, really, uh, we have to start young, but 10, 12, 13, 15 is not that young anymore. So the longer that you drag, the more problem that will arise mm -hmm. next time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so to those uh, who really face these problems. So the third one here is, mm, Okay, okay la. Okay, some some parents okay, okay la. It's not too bad. It's not too good. So it's okay. Just let them to to go through the whole journey. Yes. Uh, last time our generation, we don't need such thing. Okay. <laughs> yes. Because we 
we all learn by our, our uh, the the different types of uh, experiences. Okay, Correct. that was last time. Mm. But these days, the experiences are different. So, kids these days, the older that they got, they are not the exper experience one. Mm. But these days, the teenagers, the older they got, they got more experiences on all these gadgets in front, mm. all these war and connections. So that's where that is stopping them to go out there. So mm. before this happens, we must really do something. Yes, prepare them to actually face that, to monitor that, to observe this, and also further unleash the potential. Because a lot of the kids and teenagers, they have potential. It's just that because of the current education system, doesn't allow them to unleash the potential because it's based on yes, first one academic, and second one is all the um, the other enrichment classes mm. that they think that okay, I'm not good at this, I can't do this, but that can actually do that. Just mm. that the mindset is different. Mm. So what we need to do is to push the mindset. Yeah, that is very much important. But one is that is unleashed that can really shine really far. Mm. Yeah, so that is really no matter uh, as long as you have kids, okay, <laughs> ten to twenty years old, and that is how we have the platform for the experience learning learning here because it's all about experiential learning, experiential journey here, emotion mm. journey. So if I may summarize what you just mentioned is when parents notice three main phenomena. Number one, you notice your kid is doing well. Doing well is like their confidence, they, oh, are, very good. they are outspoken, they are disciplined. Those are great tools, those are great uh, uh, attributes and the, that is a sign for you to pay attention to utilize that to let them level up Correct. because if their environment is limited they will eventually feel the job they are like water mm. they will find and become the job mm. so what happened is giving them the right environment for them to step up Correct. of the environment of that level up. okay the second one is parents they realize that the child is uh, so and so it's like parents know that they have some strength they have some weakness <laughs> okay and sometimes we, we tend to cover one eye <laughs> to see the thing that we can accept where else the other one we assume we hope and pray that they will grow out of it <laughs> a lot of parents were hoping that never mind they're not mature yet give them a few more years they will become better mm -hmm. and the, the worst thing is right after that few more years have passed it doesn't become better yeah. And then they start regretting. Okay. Mommy, daddy starts regretting that, you know, I should have done it. Mm. Now ask yourself, have you ever come to the point where you, you, you really had a conversation with yourself and your partner and you said, I should have something? You, you know what, uh, mm. speaking of this, I do have parents uh, who actually met me a few years ago, like mm. maybe three years ago, three years ago when the son was uh, 14, 15, mm. and then they think that, okay, I think my son is good, and then uh, it's not that bad, uh, just, it's, it's okay, mm. it is okay not to join. Mm. But a few years later, and then right now, the son is 19 years old, and then she called me, okay, she called, uh, do you remember me, I, I was the mom that, uh, last time that I met you, and blah, 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 and then that is the moment that 19 years old, going out to society, going to college, going to university, that is the thing that they think, it's really really important and then now can, can you still save my son can you please help me yeah so uh yeah it's too late <laughs> it, 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 it's doable but it's a very difficult uphill yes. journey it's, yes it's not difficult for us it's difficult for the child because they are in a stage where they are co comparing with their peers they are far behind and it's a it's a very difficult thing for them so for us sometimes right uh we have what it takes to help but our best advice is to help them when they are younger. Correct. Is to nurture them when they are ready to be nurtured. And and that's why people this wise people have this saying where prevention is better than cure. <laughs> prevention is better than cure. In education, prevention means right at the stage where they don't need it is when they need it. Because at the time when they truly need this set of skills, it is too late. Correct. You won't know you, you won't know that. It is just like a Weapons, okay? Mm. You should just collect all the weapons, okay? Collect, 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 okay? So the moment that you go to war, whoa, I have all the weapons compared to those who go to a war with empty hands. Mm. So how can we do that? So along the way, they collect all the weapons, the potions, okay? Just put in the pocket. So when they go to a war zone, the society, the university, that's the life. So that's where they can use the weapons. Mm, correct. And, and that makes the difference. The difference that makes the difference. Now, I, 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 this is not planned, and I, you know what? I want to actually ask this question because <laughs> students ask me, okay? I noticed these questions come up and, and I would like to ask you as well. Okay. Uh, it's in front of the camera and I hope you can share as much as you can mm -hmm. on this particular part, which is there are students that usually share certain things to you that they don't share to their parents. Mm -hmm. uh, and for me, a lot of students that share with me, there's a certain pattern. Mm -hmm. So on my side, a lot of students share with me that 
you know, they want to make their parents proud, they, wanna, they don't want to disappoint them and all that. But the biggest thing that they share with me is this, that they don't have quality time with their parents. Mm. They feel like parents pay attention to their phone more than them. To the point that the child feel there is no point for them to be better or anything because they will never be as important as maybe the parents' phone. And uh, it hurts them a lot. So a lot of times that um, the child will talk to us about these little things that if they were to share this with their parents and they have this com open communication, things could be much better in the family. Um, and for us, we are lucky because we have access with parents and we share right. with parents as well. And hopefully this video will help you get this awareness to be able to help your family step in the, uh, in the step forward. So, Bokushi, so what, what do you think is the most common thing that students share with you that don't share with parents? Okay, uh, yes, I do have a lot of uh, students who share things to me, of course. Okay, the first thing here, you must find the root problem. So, why do they share to us? Mm. But not to the parents. Yes, of course, first on the quality time. And the second one is very much on acknowledgement. Mm. Because a lot of parents, they do not acknowledge the opinions and also some of the problem states by the kids. Then you, uh, yeah, they will think that, okay, uh, it's normal, or you, you face this soon, you need to fix yourself, or, mm. or this, there's no acknowledgement, there's no encouragement. This is interesting, because some parents, they will actually defend the part. <laughs> hey, you know what, I acknowledge my child, I say, good job, huh? oh, okay. Okay. No, no, no. But, but the question is, is that authentic? Okay, yes, correct. Okay, good job. Good job on what? Okay, that. Okay, what, what have I done? Good job on what? Mm. So it is not so much, if let's say I'm a teenager, I pretty much I want someone to be a listener. Yes, of course. When someone listens, means listen. Okay? Okay, okay what is active listening? Just stay here and listen. But a lot of parents, they may, uh, it is the generation that the approaches, the techniques is used on this younger generation. So yes, when they listen, the parents also want to voice up their opinions. Okay? Mm. So when Opinions clashes with opinions, then yeah, okay, God, God case. I still remember uh, when when I was training to become a coach. One of the hardest thing I needed to do that keep quiet. <laughs> is to keep quiet is to keep quiet because sometimes once people tell you a problem or an issue, the first thing you come on is I want to help them. I want to give them a solution, and that's the worst thing to do. Uh, and a lot of times parents, we automatically become the parent mm. to fix the child's problem. Yeah. And what the child really truly wants is for you to listen, to empathize, to listen, to be able to right. see their point, mm. and to give them the opportunity to be able to work it out. So if there's only one thing that you can pick up from this video, it will be this tip. Be empathetically open to listen to them. The biggest challenge is to let them share their problem. And after they've shared their problem, Maybe ask them, what can they do about it? Or what can you help them with? Correct. Because one of the most powerful things as coaches is we don't tell our children or our students what to do. We allow our students to find out and come up with a solution that they can do something about it. And the reason why we do this is because we don't want to train our children or students to be dependent on us. We want them to start training to trust their own instinct, their ability to balance out what is right and what is wrong, and to follow through with their decision. Correct. And that's the best way to help your child become more independent. If you are really serious about helping your child grow up so that they can become independent without you, parents, you have to be able to, number one, listen open-heartedly and be able to give them questions and opportunity for them to solve their own problem. Mm. Yeah. Mm. After that, after being a good listener and after going through all these things, second thing, to acknowledge improvement. Mm. Because when the kids they have took action, okay, so parents is here to acknowledge, wow, you have done this, mm. wow, you improved. And last, remember to celebrate. Okay, celebration <laughs> is really important because they really want to feel the achievement of doing something instead of parents think that you should have done that mm. or yeah, it's is you have to do it, okay? So it's your responsibility. Yeah, I know, but then let's celebrate that. Very okay? nice. Yeah, yeah. So the two extra things that I mentioned <laughs> is, number one, acknowledgement. Acknowledgement doesn't just mean saying, hey, good job. You need proof, you need evidence. Yes. Imagine someone come up to you and say, hey, you know what, you're doing a good job. It's nice to hear, but then you don't feel it's authentic. You don't feel it's real. You don't feel like, what do you mean? But if you can give evidence, hey, good job. I noticed that you put a lot of effort in your work and you're able to get this kind of result. I'm proud of you. That level of acknowledgement is with quality and it takes time for you to really notice that. And the person that is accepting it will feel very different. Right. 
And then after, because doing a good job is great, but you know what? It's the opportunity to celebrate the wins. <laughs> Every win, small or big, is Yes, celebrate. exactly. Celebration is important. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people, especially in Asia, we don't celebrate wins that much. Exactly. It's yes. like, hey, I got 98% uh, in my exam. Yeah, it's your responsibility uh, uh, as a student. <laughs> that's the reason why. Then the, the second worst one is, what happened to the other two? Uh, yeah, correct. Yeah. Why not you got 100? Yeah. Okay, so so in all. other words, right, celebrate the wins. Because every time when you feel good, about moving forward, it only fuels the energy to want to go more. Because a lot of times, right, that's how game psychologists does it. Why is these students are addicted to video games? Because every time they Good win, point. every small thing that they do that they win, it's celebrated yes. as a game. It makes them feel they are doing something right. Yeah. It makes them feel like they can go more and they push. So parents, if you want your child to be fighting hard for their future, like how they are so, so focused in their games, Help them celebrate their wins. Mm. And you know, that's an amazing set of sharing. There's so many gems <laughs> okay. that we've gotten out from this video. It's like, oh, okay. Thank you very so, much. Um, okay. about, this is the thing. We're going to be linking uh, Pro Missions uh, website, uh, contact details all below. Now, if you feel like you want to explore uh, what Pro Mission does and how they could be able to help you and your family, yes. details are below. Get in touch with them, arrange an appointment to meet up yes. with them. Okay? And you know what? Coach Jason, thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you very much. It's, yes. it's amazing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's amazing because um, we, we share working with students so much for so long, right? Um, we see things eye to eye. Sometimes we don't talk about it enough. Mm -hmm. And I think I, I, we should talk more. Like, <laughs> there's so much more that I know you know yeah, okay. that if, if we share, right, a lot of people can benefit. And if you feel what you hear today or you listen today is useful and helpful for you, make sure you smash that like button. Uh, if you have not subscribed, subscribe. And if you want to see more of Coach Jason sharing his experience and maybe more points that you want to ask Coach Jason, put a comment below. And what we'll do is, we'll do our best to schedule another session with Coach Jason so that we can <laughs> capture him, like a Pokemon catch him, uh, and then get him to share more. So, uh, if you have questions, put it down so we can also sure. use that and ask those questions. Ask me more and I'll see you very soon, parents. I'll um, see you really, really soon. <laughs> okay, till then, please stay awesome and have an amazing life. Okay. Bye! Bye!